Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how RFID data from UHF RFID data can be sent from Arduino microcontroller to Excel in real time using data streamer option. So let us uh, move on to the demonstration part. So in this video, uh, we will see how to send RFID data from Arduino microcontroller to Excel file. So this is the Excel. I'm using this to record my RFID details. Uh, so you can use the data streamer option of Excel. You need to enable data streamer for which you can come here, file, then options. So then you can click add-ins, then uh, click manage and select the com add-ins. And you can go here and select, uh, in my case it has been already selected. Okay, so this opens up a new tab, which is a data streamer tab, and you can use data streamer option or data streamer feature to get a live data onto Excel file from Arduino microcontroller or either way. So I'm using Excel in the receive mode, and so this is the data in. So, and the first thing you are supposed to do is you need to connect your device to this Excel. So this is my my audio sketch. I have written the audio sketch. I have a little bit modified this audio sketch so that uh, so this will work for three different cards, and it can uh, check the card number, and also it can say which card is detected. Let's say card one or card two or card three. Each card will have uh, a specific unique byte. Uh, say one of the card is having 189 and other card is having 188 so these these are the decimal equivalent of those hex numbers and the third card is having 185 so i can use these numbers to differentiate between these three cards so a simple if statement is written here and once that specific card is detected then it displays card 1 detected. You can also have a counter to count how many times card 1 is being detected. So that you can do. I am using a counter for this. Uh, one more thing, since I am using, since I am recording this RFID details on an Excel file, so I will not be using the serial monitor. I cannot use the serial monitor. So when Excel file is being used as the output, uh, you know, uh, the file, then you can't use serial monitor for the display. So this is the sketch what I have and uh, it has been already compiled and I will upload this onto Arduino microcontroller. So, okay, so now, uh, okay, so uploading is complete. And if you look at the card numbers, card one will have number of bytes as shown here the number starts with 00, 0 ends with 255 so 255 is the last byte 255 is equivalent to FFH so 255 is a decimal equivalent all these are decimal equivalent of hex numbers and uh, similarly card 2 number starts with RFID starts with 00, 0 and ends with 255 and similarly card 3 starts with 00, 0 ends with 255. Now if you look at the uh, series of numbers, you can see that some of the bytes are different. Like card 1 has 189, this has 188 and 185. And one more thing, uh, this, you know, uh, these data is uh, received byte wise. So you can check each byte separately here and you can compare it with those unique IDs. For example, 189 for card one, 188 for card two, and 185 for card three. So then you can decide what to be displayed, whether card one or card two or card three, etc. So now it has been already uploaded. So let me just uh, connect this. I'll connect device to this particular port, COM3 port I'm using in this case, and in the input mode. So by default it has got uh, 10 channels and uh, you also have an option to display the newest uh, data on the top or you can go to settings and you can make those changes. So
so I'm okay with this so now you can start reading the data from the microcontroller I have the card 1 over here so this is the card 1 and uh, you can see that uh, card 1 is detected one time so I will be again punching the same card again and you can see that card 1 detected two times and card ID is 189 so I will go for the second card 188 188 is the number which I have used for comparison so you can see the card 2 is detected one time two times and three times and I also have a card 3 over here so this is the card 3 with a different number so this is how you can use a data streamer and these values are also you can record for later usage.